Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Δόξα Συ Χριστέ ο Θεός η αλπίσιμον Κυρία Δόξα Συ. Βασιλεύ Πουράνια παράκτε το πνεύμα της αληθείας, ο πανταχού παρών και τα πάντα πληρών, ο της αυρός να αγαθών και ζωής χορηγός, ελθέ και σκηνούς νημή και καθάρισουν μας πάσης κυλίδος και σώσουν αγκαθέτας ψυχάς ημών. Αμήν, Άιος ο Θεός, Άιος η Συρός, Άιος ο Θάνατος ελέησουν ημάς. Άιος ο Θεός, Άιος η Συρός, Άιος ο Θάνατος ελέησουν ημάς. Άιος ο Θεός, Άιος η Συρός, Άιος ο Θάνατος ελέησουν ημάς. Δόξα Πατρή και Υιο και Υιο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριάς ελέησουν ημάς, Κύριε Λάσσα Σταματίας ημών, δέσποτα συγχώρησε σημείες ημήν, Άι, επίση εκείε σε τεσενίε ημών, ένε και εντρωματό σου, κυρία Λέισον, κυρία Λέισον, κυρία Λέισον. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και ιό πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτρι μόν, ο εν τη ουρανή, αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτε βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άτρι μόν, την επιούσιον δόση μην σήμερα, και άφεση μην τα αφλημετά ημών ως και μη σαφή με τις λεύσιμων, και μη συνέγγιση μας εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμάς από το πονηρού. Ότι σου εστινή βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Σώσον, Κύριε των λαών Σου, και ευλόησον την κληρονομία Σου, Νίκα τη Βασιλέ, η κατάβαλαν το ρούμενο και το σον φυλάτων για του σταυρού στο πολίτευμα. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και ιό πνεύματι, ο υψωθή των σταυροεκοσίω, την επωνύμου σου κοινή πολιτεία, του συχτηρμού σου δόρισε Χριστέ ο Θεό. Έφνον τη δυνάμει σου του πιστού Βασιλεί Σιμών, νίκα χορηγών αυτή κατά το πολεμίον, την συμμαχία έχει την συν όπλων ειρήνη αίτη των τρόπεων. Και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Προστασία φοβερά και κετέσυντε, μη παρήδη σε καθίτε ή και εσύ, Σιμών, πανίμετε Θεοτόκε. Στήριξον Ορθοδόξων πολιτείαν, σώζε ούσε κέλε βασφασιλεύειν, και χορήγη αυτή σου ενώθεν την νίκην, διότι έτυχε στον Θεόν μόνη ευλογημένη. Ελαίσον ημά ο Θεό, κατά το μεγαλαιό σου δε μετά σου επάκουσον και ελαίσον. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν. Και την αιώμεθα υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν. Και την αιώμεθα υπέρ του αρχιπισκόπου και πατρόσιμων ελπιδοφόρου και πάση τη εν Χριστιανού. Το ημών αδελφότητο. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Ότι λέει μου και πιλάνθρωπο Θεό υπάρχει και εσύ την όξα να αναπέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμέν. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Δόξα τη Αγίου Καμωσίου και σου ποιό και διά του Τριάδη, πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμέν. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and and on earth peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear 10,000 people arrayed against me. 
Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. My iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled, mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever. My life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good opposed me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with the choicest fare and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped." I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. 
Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have shaken me. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagle's. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust, a man, his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, in every place of his dominion. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, 
and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. And it is need to kill you, they some men. 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 Υπέρ του Άγιου Οικοτούτου και μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εν αυτό του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Θεϊσόν. Υπέρ του Αρχιπισκόπου και Πατρός ημών ελπιδοφόρου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτέριου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας πάντως του κλήρου και του λαού του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Θεϊσόν. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather and abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Αντιλά βούσος νελέησον και δια φυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. Lord have mercy. Της Παναγίας σαν χράντο υπερευλοημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεού τόκι παθαίνου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθωμεθά. Ότι πρέπει εσύ πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκυνήσεις το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Θεός Κύριος και πεφανέν ημήν ευλογημένος ο ερχομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and has revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. 
πάντα τα έθνη κυκλωσάμε και το όνομα του Κυρίου ημίν αμήν αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και πεφανέν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχομένος εν όνομα του Κυρίου. This came about through the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ευλογητός η Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ο πανσόφος του σαλής αναδείξας, κατά πέμψας αυτής το Πνεύμα το Αγίον, και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένης αγινεύσας, φιλάνθρωπε δόξασή. Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who made fishermen all wise, sending upon them the Holy Spirit, and through them netting the world, O loving one, glory to you. Ευλογητός η Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ο πανσόφος του σαλής αναδείξας, κατά πέμψας αυτής το Πνεύμα το Αγίον, και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένης αγινεύσας, φιλάνθρω, in peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, and yours the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Την με Θεό τον πιστή και τελευταίον νεοτήν εωτάσομεν φεδρός αυτή εστί πεντηκοστή επαγγελία συμπλήρωσης και προτεσμίας εν ταυτή γάτορ πύρ του παρακλήτου ευθύς κατέβη επί γης ως περαινή διγλωσσόν και μάθητας εφώτισε και τούτος ουρανομίστρας ανέδειξε το φως επέστη του παρακλήτου και τον κόσμο εφώτισε. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. In this post-Easter season, let us enjoy, celebrate the final feast, which is Pentecost. It is the fulfillment of the promise and of time. On this day, the fire of the paraclete, as tongues of flame, descended straight away upon the earth. 
it enlightened the disciples, proving them to be initiates of the holy mysteries. The light of the paraclete has come and given light to the world. Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. The fountainhead of the Spirit has come to dwell with those upon the earth, dividing in a comprehensible way as cloven rivers of flame. It refreshed and enlightened the apostles. The fire became for them like a misty cloud as it enlightened and rained flame upon them. Through them, we have received grace through fire and water. The light of the paraclete has come and given light to the world. Μετά την έργεση, Χριστέ την εκ του τάφου και την προσύψου σουρανού θείαν ανάληψην Τις θεόπτες την δόξαν, σου κατεπέψα συγκτήρμον. Πνεύμα, εύθες εγκαινήσας τις μαθητές, όθεν, ως πεκιθάρα μου σουργική, πάσιν ετανολόγησαν το θείο πλήτρο, Μυστικός σωτέ το απαχήματα και την οικονομία σου. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. After your resurrection from the tomb and your divine ascension to the heights of heaven, O Christ, you sent upon them who beheld divinity your glory, O compassionate one, consecrating your disciples with the right spirit. Wherefore, mystically, as a musical harp whose divine chord was struck, they made manifest to all, O Savior, its reverberation and your compassion. Amen. Εκ νεοτητός μου πολλά πολέμη με πάθη, αλλά αυτός αντιλαβώ και σώσον σωτήρ μου. Ever since my youth I am at war with many passions, but you will be my help and save me, O Savior. Η μισόν δεσίον Εσχύντητε από του Κυρίου ως χόρτος χαρ, Κυρίαστεστε απεξηραμένοι. Those who hate Zion will be confounded by the Lord. As withering grass, they will be consumed by the fire. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνευματί, Αγίο Πνεύμα, τι πάσα ψυχίζωτε και καθάρση ψωτε λαμπρίνετε τι τρία δίκη μονάδι ιεροκριφίους. Now 
and always, and forever and ever. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, the streams of grace pour forth, watering all of the earth, that it may be fruitful. Το πνεύμα σου τον αγαθόν οδηγήσει με ενγύη ευθεία. May your spirit lead me on a straight path. O Lord, hear the sound of my plea when I pray to you. Το πνεύμα σου τον αγαθόν οδηγήσει με εν γη ευθεία. Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Κύριε Λέησον, ότι Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών και να αγείς αναπάβει και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν. Το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την ειν και αη, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Πάσα πνοή, εν εσάτω των Κύριων, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Εν εσάτω πνοή, πάσα των Κύριων. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were gathered for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, in the greatness of your love, in the abundance of your tender mercies, wipe out my offense. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I am well aware of my iniquity and my sin is before me always. It is you alone I have offended, I have done what is evil in your sight. Wherefore you are justified in your charges and triumphant in your judgment. Behold, I was born in iniquities, and in sins my mother conceived me. But you are the lover of truth. You have shown the hidden depths of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be pure. Cleanse me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear sounds of joy and feasting. The bones that were afflicted shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my offenses, and wipe off all my sins. A spotless heart create in me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit in my breast. Cast me not away from your face. Take not your blessed spirit out of me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and let your guiding spirit dwell in me. I will teach your ways to the sinner, and the wicked shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, and my tongue will joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Had you desired sacrifice, I would have offered it. But you will not be satisfied with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a crushed and humbled heart 
God will not spurn. In your kindness, O Lord, be bountiful to Zion. May the walls of Jerusalem be restored. Then will you delight in proper oblation, in sacrifice and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer calves upon your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Through the prayers, O merciful of the apostles, wash away the multitude of my offenses. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Through the prayers, O merciful of the Theotokos, wash away the multitude of my offenses. O God, have mercy upon me in the greatness of your love, in the abundance of your tender mercies, wipe out my offense. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, gracious one. Επίσκεψε τον κόσμο τσουν αλέη και κτηρήμις, ύψωσον κέρας χριστιανών ορθοδόξων και κατάψουν ημάς τα αλέη σου τα πλούσια. Πρεσβείες της Παναχράντου Δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκη Παθαίνου Μαρίας, δυνάμει του τιμίου και σου ποιού σταυρού, προστασίας του τιμίου να πουρανίουν δυνάμεων ασωμάτων. Η κεσίες του μίου δόξου που φύτει ποδόμου στο Ιωάννο, τον Αγίον ενδόξων φύμουν Αποστόλων. Τον Αγίος Πατέρων ημών, μεγάλων ιεραρχών και μηνικών διδασκάλων, βασίλειο του μεγάλου, γρηγοριού του Θεολόγου και Ιωάννα του Χρυσοστόμου, Αθανασίου και Κυρίλου, Ιωάννα του Ινήμος Πατριαρχών Αλεξανδρίας, Νικολάου του Ενμύρης, Σπυρίδων ως Επισκόπου Τιμηθούντος και Νεκτάριο Πέντα Πόλεως των Ταυματουργών, τον Αγίον Ενδόξο Μεγάλων Ματήρων, Γεωργίου του Πεωφόρου, Δημητρίου του Μυροβλήτου, Θεοδόρου του Τύρονος, Θεοδόρου του Τιλάτου Μινάτου, Θαυματουργού, Τροματίνων Χαραλάμπος και Δευτερίου, Τον Αγίον Εδόξου Μεγάλων Ματήρων, Δέκλας Βαρβάρας Αναστασίας, Εκατερίνης Κυριακής Φωτεινής, Μαρινής Παρασκευής και Ειρηνής, Τον Αγίον Εδόξου Νικοματήρων, Τον Ωσίν και Θεοφόρων Πατέρων Ιμών, Τον Ασκητή Λαμσάντων, Τον Αγίον και Δικαίων Θου Παρτών Ιωκίμ και Άνη των εκατών πετύχοντα Αγίων και Θεοφόρων Πατέρων ημών, των συνελφόντι εν τη δεύτερη οικουμενική Αγίου Συνόδου, συγκροτηθήσε εν Κωνσταντιλοπόλη εν έτη 3801, Θεοδόρου, η Ρωμάτηρος, τον εν εν κύρα, ον και τιμή μη θελούμεν και πάντων σου τον έγινε και τεύομεν σε μόνε πολύ ελεκύριε, Επάκουσον ημών των αματολών δεαμένων σου και ελέησον ημάς. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον. Ελέη και εκτενεμής και φιλανθρωπία του μόνο γενού σου Υιού μεθού ευλογητώσει, συν του Παναγίου και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. When the Most High came down and confounded tongues of men at Babel, he divided the nations. When he dispensed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity. And with one voice, we glorify the Most Holy Spirit. O Jesus, when we became heedless in our spirit, Give swift and sure comfort to your servants. In time of sorrow, be not apart from our souls. In difficult circumstance, be not far from our thought, but protect us forever. 
Come near us, O present one. Come near us. As you were always united with the apostles, so also unite yourself, O compassionate one, with those who hope in you, that joined with you we may glorify the most Holy Spirit. On this, the seventh day of the month, we commemorate the holy priest martyr Theodotos of Ankara. On this day, the memory of the holy martyr Zenaida, the wonder worker. On this day, the memory of the holy woman Asaya and Sosana, students of Pangratios, Bishop of Tavromenia. Their synaxis is celebrated in the holy place of their martyrdom in Vasiliskos. On this day, the memory of the holy martyr Licarion. On this day, the holy martyrs Tarasios and John die by the sword. On this day, the venerable Stephen dies in peace. On this day, the venerable Anthimos dies in peace. On this day, the holy Sebastiana dies in peace. On this, the eighth Sunday of Easter, we celebrate Pentecost. On the first Sunday of the month of June, we commemorate our 150 holy and God-bearing fathers assembled in the second Holy Ecumenical Synod convened in 381 in Constantinople in the reign of Theodosius the Great. Through the intercessions of the 150 holy and God-bearing fathers, O Christ our God, protect your church from every heresy and save our souls. Amen. Let us sing praises to him who engulfed Pharaoh and his chariots with the sea, and to crush his wars with his mighty hand, for he has been glorified. Shrouded by a divine cloud, the stammerer proclaimed the law written by God. Clearing the dust from the eye of the mind, he sees the being and is initiated in the knowledge of the spirit, honoring the godly in songs. O Christ, you said to the apostles, stay in Jerusalem until you have been imbued with the power from above. I will send you another paraclete like me, who is my spirit and that of the Father. In him you will be made steadfast. Hannah, the prophetess of old, coming before the mighty God of knowledge with a contrite spirit, broke the fetters of a barren womb an unbearable humiliation through prayer alone, which made her fertile. Gata non profitis, tine pescaton su Christen lefsin, ane boa, tin sinis aikiko aikirie, dinastian, Oti pandes tu sose, tus Christus o elilitas. O King of Kings, only Logos, who of himself came forth from the Father who is uncaused as benefactor, you sent your spirit truly equal to you in might, to the apostles who sing, glory to your power, O Lord. Todia ton povon su liften kirie, en gastriton profiton, ke kithin epitis his nevma sotirias, apo 
αποστολικάς καρδίας της ικάθαρας και εν της πιστής ευθές εγκαινίζεται ως γαρ και ειρήνη διότι τα σα προσταγμάτα. O children of the church, with radiant countenance, receive a breath of flame, the dew of the Spirit, a cleansing redemption of offenses. For now, law has come forth from Zion, the grace of the Spirit in the form of tongues and flame. Sailing in the confusion of worldly concerns, I am drowning from the sins that accompany me, and I am thrown to the beast that corrupts souls. O Christ, I cry out to you as did Jonah, raise me up from the deadly depths. O Christ the Master, you shone forth from the Virgin as forgiveness and salvation for us, that you might extricate the fallen Adam and all his descendants, as you extricated the prophet Jonah from the belly of the whale. The holy youths who were thrown into the fiery furnace Turn the flames into dew through him singing thus. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Harmonious instruments of music summoned a trembling people to worship a lifeless golden image. But the light-bearing grace of the paraclete calls them to worship by crying out, O Holy Trinity, eternal and equal in power, blessed are you. Enumen, evlogumen, ke proskinumen ton kirion, the unconsumed bush, which spoke with fire, made God known to the stammering and hoarse Moses. And the zeal of God caused the three youths, singing praises to the untouched by fire. Praise the Lord, all his works, and exalt him until all ages. The tri-radiant image of divine authority loosens the bonds and quenches the flame. The youth sing praises, and the whole of creation blesses the only Savior and Creator as benefactor. Din teotolkon kemitera tu fotos en imnis O mother who knew no man, Virgin Theotokos, you conceived without ever experiencing corruption and lent a body to the Logos, the creator of all. You are a vessel and a dwelling place to your boundless and infinite creator. We magnify you. In time past, breathing fire, the zealot Elijah mounted the flaming chariot rejoicing thus signifying the splendorous breath from on high, coming upon the apostles, by which all were enlightened in the knowledge of the Holy Trinity. Strange things were heard contrary to the law of nature, for by the grace of the Spirit, the one voice resounding upon the apostles was heard by peoples, voices and tongues in various ways, they became initiates of the divine majesty through knowledge of the Holy Trinity. Hail, O Queen, pride of virgins and mothers, for every able and eloquent mouth that speaks is unable to worthily extol you. Every mind trying to comprehend your birth giving becomes dazed. Wherefore, we glorify you with one voice. 
Let us worthily praise the maiden who brought life to nature, for she alone was able to shelter the Logos, who heals the ailing nature of mortals, who sat at the right hand of the Father, where he is now established, who has sent grace of the Spirit. They have become bright, radiant, changed, resplendently transformed to great beauty, upon whom the grace of God has breathed. They comprehend the indivisible, equal in power, radiant, wise essence which we glorify. O Mother who knew no man, Virgin Theotokos, you conceived without ever experiencing corruption and lent a body to the Logos, the creator of all. You are a vessel and a dwelling place to your boundless and infinite creator. We magnify you. Hail, O queen, pride of virgins and mothers, for every able and eloquent mouth that speaks is unable to worthily extol you. Every mind trying to comprehend your birth giving becomes dazed. Wherefore, we glorify you with one voice. Let us worthily praise the maiden who brought life to nature, for she alone was able to shelter the Logos, who heals the ailing nature of mortals, who sat at the right hand of the Father, where he is now established, and who has sent the grace of the Holy Spirit. They have become bright, radiant, changed, resplendently transformed to great beauty, upon whom the grace of God has breathed. They comprehend the indivisible, equal in power, radiant, wise essence which we glorify. O Mother, who knew no man, Virgin Theotokos, who conceived without ever experiencing corruption, and lent a body to the Logos, the creator of all, you are a vessel and dwelling place. To your boundless and infinite creator, we magnify you. Rejoice, O Queen, pride of virgins and mothers, for every able and eloquent mouth that speaks is unable to worthily extol you. Every mind trying to comprehend your birth giving becomes dazed, wherefore we glorify you with one voice. <laughs> Adila vos os neleis on genia filax on imas o teos, tisi hariti. Ispanagia sacrando hiperebloimenis en lox, despinisimon theotoki patheno marias, meta pandon donaia mimonev sandes, eaftos que alilus que pasan tinzo inimon, aristoto theo para fometho. Holy is the Lord our God. Ipsute kirion ton theonimon, ke proskinite to ipopodio ton podon aftu, oti agios estim. All Holy Spirit, emanating from the Father and through the Son, dwelling upon the unschooled disciples, Come bless us all who acknowledge you as God and save us. Oh. Uh. 
Father is light, the Son is light, and the Holy Spirit is light, which came down upon the apostles as tongues of flame and through whom the whole world was enlightened to revere the Holy Trinity. Praise the Lord in his holy places. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. The many nations saw strange things in the city of David when the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues as the inspired Luke recounted. For he says, they were all together in one place and suddenly a sound came like a rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And all began to speak in other tongues, other doctrines, other teachings of the Holy Spirit. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for the fullness of his majesty. And it of ton epitis in astias of to and it of ton. Κατά το πλήθο τη μεγαλοσύνη αυτού, το πνεύμα το Άγιον είναι μεναί, και έστι και έστε ούτε αρξάμενον, ούτε παψόμενον, αλλά η πατρί και ο συνεταγμένον και συναριθμούμενον ζωή και ζωποιούν, φως και φωτός χορηγών, αυτά αγαθών 
και πήγη αγαθότητος, διου πατήρ νορίζετε, και Υιός δοξάζετε, και παραπάντων γινώσκετε, μη αδύναμης, μη ασύναξης, μη απροσκύνησης, της Αγίας Τριάδος. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the harp and the lyre. The Holy Spirit, light and life and living fountain of reason, spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, of goodness and honesty, intelligence and sovereignty, expiating sins. God who deifies, fire deriving from fire, speaking, acting, meting out gifts, through whom all the prophets and God's apostles with the martyrs were crowned together. Different sounds, a different sight, fire divided gifts into grace. No. Ιησούς Χριστός εις δόξαν Θεού Πατροσά. 
mí. Κάθε κάστη ημέρα ανευλογήσω σε και ενέσω το όνομα σου εις τον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνου. Καταξίωσον Κύριε εν τη ημέρα τα αυτή Αναμαρτήτους φυλακτήνε ημάς. Ευλογητός η Κύριε ο Θεός των Πατέρων ημών και εν ετών και δε δοξασμένων το όνομά σου εις τους αιώνας αμήν. Και εν η του Κύριε το έλεο σου εφήμας Καθά περιλπίσαμεν επισέ. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Κύριε κατά φυγή εγεννήθης ημίν, εν γενεά και γενεά, εγώ είπα, Κύριε λέησον με, ίασε την ψυχήν μου, ότι ημαρτών σοι. Κύριε προσέκατε φύγον διδαξόν με, του πειν το θέλημά σου, ότι εσύ ο Θεός μου. Ότι παρασύ πει η ζωής, εν το φωτί σου ο ψώμεθα φως. Παρά την ον το έλεο σου, της γινώσκους είσαι, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνευματί και νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός. Άγιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Ευλογητός η Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ο πανσόφους τους αλλής αναδείξας, κατά πέμψας απ' της το πνεύμα το Άγιον και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένην σ' αγινεύσας φιλάνθρωπε δόξασή. Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Άγιου Πνεύματος, νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, υπέ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Υπέ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθία στον Άγιον του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων όσεως του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε ελέησον. Υπέ του Άγιου οικοτούτου και τη μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτού του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε ελέησον. 
Υπέ του Αρχιπίσκοπου και Πατρός Σιμών Ελπιδοφόρου, του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της Εν Χριστώ Διακονίας, παντός του κλήρου και του λαού, του Κυρίου Δε Ιθωμέν. Κύριε Ελέησο, For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, For every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For those who are under the impending threat of the coronavirus, those who are suffering, and those who are recovering from this affliction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the physicians, health care workers, researchers and first responders serving throughout the world during this pandemic, that the Lord our God may bless them and keep them under the protection of his wings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας Αγχράντου υπερευλοημένης, εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεού του Ακυπαθένου Μαρίας, με τα πάντων των Αγίων μημονεύσαντες, εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παράθω μεθά. Ότι πρέπει εσύ πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση, το πατρί και το ιό και το αγιο πνεύμα την ειν και αι, και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Οι ουρανοί διηγούνται δόξαν θεού, ποιοι συνδεχειρών αυτού, αναγγέλει. Αναγγέλει το στέρεό μα τη πρεσβεία τη Θεοτόπου. Σότερ, σώσον είμαστε. Ουκ ει ελάιλι εούδε λόγοι. Ονοχή ακούονται οι φωνέ αυτών. Τε πρεσβεία τη Θεοτόπου. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. Tes presvias is theodopu, soter In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord hear you in the day of afflictions. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. Sanctify those who love the beauty of the house, glorify them in return for the divine power. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Ex apostille si voitia and ex aiu. Ke exion antilavitos. Ex apostille si voitia and ex aiu.
May he remember every sacrifice of yours and may your whole burnt offering be honored. O oh, good comforter, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Oh, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, and without change became man, Christ our God. You were crucified and conquered death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Etiquette, you need to carry you the Ithomen. And the labus, os neleison, get the apilax Τη Παναγία Σακράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπινή Σιμών Θεοτόκη Παθαίνου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μημονεύσαντε εαυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χρήστο το Θεό παράθο μεθά. Ότι αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό υπάρχει και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν του Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιωνών. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, that together we may serve and glorify your goodness. To you belong the glory, honor, and worship of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Sophia Orthi Ipsothi Ti Kyrie Enti Dinami Su Asomen Kepsalumen Tas Dina Through them, 
Ότε κατά βάστας γλώσσα συνέχιε, διεμέρισεν έθνη ο ύψιστος. Ότε του πυρός τας γλώσσας συνέδειμεν, ίσεν ότι τα πάντα σε κάλεσε, και συμφώνος το ξάζομεν το Παναγίον Πνεύμα. When the Most High God came down and confused the tongues, He divided the nations. When He distributed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity, and with one voice we glorify the o Holy Spirit. And... Kyrie dei thome, oti aios io theos Simon και εσύ την όξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιωνών. And sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve your holiness all the days of our lives. Through the intercessions of the Holy Family, the Lord, and of all the saints, so please do throughout the ages. Amen. O si is Christon, e baptiste, Christon, e ne disaste, alleluia. All those who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ forever, alleluia. O si is Christon, e baptiste, Christon, e ne disaste, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have put on Christ forever. Alleluia. O si is Christon, e baptiste, Christon, e disaste. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who sits upon the throne of glory midst the cherubim now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Attend. Their voice has gone out into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly 
a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at the sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each one of us in his own native language, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pondos and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Sophia, Orthia, Cusumen, Tua, Iu, Evangelium, Irini, Pasi. Εκ του κατά Ιωάννη να γει ο Ευαγγελίο το ανάγνωσμα, τρόσχομεν. Κύριε δόξα Συ. Τι εσχάτη ημέρα, τη μεγάλη της εωτής, ιστήκει ο Ιησούς και έκραξε λέγον, εάν τη στύψα, ερχέστο προς με και πεινέτο, ο πιστεύον εις εμέ, καθώς είπεν η γραφή, ποταμή εκ της κοιλίας αυτού ρεύσουσιν ύδατος ζώντος. Τούτο δε είπε περί του πνεύματος, ου έμελον λαμβάνει οι πιστεύοντες εις Αυτόν. Ουπο γαρ ειν πνεύμα Άγιον, ότι Ιησούς οδέπο εδοξάστη. Πολλοί ούν εκ του όχλου, εκούσαντες των λόγων έλεγον, ούτως εστίν αληθώς ο προφήτης. Άλλοι έλεγον, ούτως εστίν ο Χριστός. Άλλοι έλεγον, μη γάρε της Γαλιλαίας ο Χριστός έρχεται. Ουχή η γραφή είπεν, ότι εκ του σπέρματος Δαβίβ και από Βιθλεέμ της Κόμης, όπου ειν Δαβίβ ο Χριστός έρχεται. Σχίσμα ούνεν το όχλο εγένετο δι' Αυτόν. Την έστε ήθελον, εξ αυτών πιάσε αυτόν, αλουδείς επέλαβεν επ' αυτόν τα σχήρας. Ήλθον ούν υπερέτε προς τους αρχιερείς και φαρισαίους και είπεν αυτοίς εκείνοι, διατί ουκ υγάγεται αυτόν. Απεκρίθησαν υπερέτε, ουδέπετε ούτως ελάλησεν άνθρωπος, ως ούτως ο άνθρωπος. Απεκρίθησαν ούν αυτοίς οι Φαρισαίοι, μη και εμείς πεπλάνιστε, μη της εκ των αρχόντων επίσταυσεν εις αυτών ή εκ των Φαρισαίων, αλλά ο όχλος ούτως ο μη γινώσχων των νόμων επικατάραθη εσύ. Λέγει νικόδημος προς, αυ, ε, προς αυτούς, ο ελθόν νικτός προς αυτόν εις όν εξ αυτών. Μη ο νόμος ημών κρίνει τον άνθρωπον, εάν μη ακούσει παρά αυτού πρώτερον και γνώτη ποιή. Απεκρίθησαν και είπαν αυτό, μη και εσύ εκ της Γαλιλαίας ή. Ερένησον και είδε ότι προφήτης εκ της Γαλιλαίας ουκ εγγύγεται. Πάλινουν αυτοίς ο Ιησούς ελάλησε λέγον, εγώ είμαι το φως του κόσμου, ο ακολουθόνιμοι ου μη περαπητήσει 
en discutia. Alexi, tu fostis zoi. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ is descended from David? and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was. So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray, you also? Have any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, who do not know the law, are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. And again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Opus ipotocratus supando te filatomeni, si doxan anapembomen, to patri que to io que to io pnevmatin in que ai, que istus eonas to neonon. Again, we bow before you and pray to a good and loving God. Hear our supplications, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. is worthy to approach, draw near, to minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome even for the heavenly powers, but because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us. You became man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and as Lord of all. You have entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart, feeble consciousness. 
Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit so that best with the grace of priest that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come with bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and unworthy servant worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, Christ, our God, are the offer and the offer, the one who receives and is distributed unto you. We give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the chariots and the thrice holy hand of the life-giving Trinity, let us set aside all the cares of this life that we receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic host. We who mystically represent the chariots and the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, let us set aside all the cares of this life that we receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We who mystically represent the chariots and the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, let us set aside all the cares of this life that we receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Pandonimon 
Ύπνιστη Κύριος ο Θεός, εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. May the Lord our God Remember all of us in his kingdom, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. That we may receive the King of all. Πληρώσομεν την δέησιν ημών το Κύριο. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπέ το πρωτεθέντον τιμιον δώρον του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπέ του Άγιου οικοτούτου και μετά πίστεως αυλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτόν του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπέτουρις την αίμας πον πάσης λείψεως, οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης, του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον, και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχαρητή. Κύριε Λέησο, For a perfect, holy, peaceful and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls, and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with all. And with your spirit. Agapis, amen, alilus, in harmonia, molois, amen. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Tas tiras, tas tiras, en Sofia proskomen. Piste vois en Ateon, patera pantocratora, pitin uranu ke yis oraton de panton ke oraton, ke isena kirion isun Christon, ton ion tu theu, ton monogeni, ton etu patros ni thenda po panton ton eonon, fos ek fotos, theon alithinon, ek thu alithinu, Γεννηθέντα, ουπίθέντα, ομόζουν το πατρί, δου τα πάντα εγενετό. Τον διημά στου ανθρώπου και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν. Καταλθών ηλεκτρονανών και σακωθέντα εκ πνεύματο Αγίου και Μαρία τη Παθαίνω και να ανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυροθέντε τε υπερημών, επιποντίου πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα. Και να στάτα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα σγραφά. Και να θώνουν στου ουρανού και καθεζόμενα δεξιών του πατρό και πάνε ερχόμενα με τα δόξης, κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ούτης φασλία κουκέστε τέλος. Και στο πνεύμα το Άγιον, των Κύριων, των Ζωπιών, του εκ του Πατρός επορευόμενων, των Συ Πατρή και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενων και συνδόξαζόμενων των Αλύσαν διά των Προφητών. Εις μίαν, Αγίαν, Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφηση νοματιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovo, proskomen, dinagian anaforan, and it is prosperity. Και η κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματος ή με τα πάντων ημών. του Πνεύματος Let us lift up our hearts. Them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. You are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. 
you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings. Don epinikion imnon adonda vonda kekragota kelegonda Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Pietex of tu pandes, tu tu esti to emamu, totis genis diatikis, tu hiperimon, que polone ginomenon, is office in amartion, drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming of Theos, last matulokeles, amen. Tasa ecton son si prospero men catapanda que via panda. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, O Lord our God. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. Lord Jesus Christ, and of God, have mercy upon us sinners. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be the those who partake of the vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment and condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship of those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, aesthetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect.
Εξαιρέτως της Παναγίας, ακράντο υπερευλοημένης, εν δόξε δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και η Παρθένου Μαρίας. Μη της φθοράς Θεία πύρα κι ο φορήσασα και πανεχνή μόνη λόγο Remember also all those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection into eternal life. You are the Panayoti Yakovu, you are the Yeres, Marias, Margaritas, Presbyteras, Stavrulas, Yakovu, Kisinaton Archereum, Panayotu, Yereos, Stavrulas, Presbyteras, Ekaterinis, Georgiou, Vasiliou, the Georgiou, Ton Yereum, Germanou, Yeromonarchou, Dimitriou, Yereos, Marias, Ilias, Panayotas, and grant them rest, O God, where the light of your countenance shines. Again, we ask you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, all presbyters, all deacons in the service of Christ, and everyone in holy orders. We also offer to you the spiritual worship of the whole world for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service, permit them more to serve and govern in peace, that through the faith and conduct of their duties, you may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Εν πρώτης νήστητη Κύριε του Αρχιπισκόπου και Πατρός ημών ελπιδοφόρου, ον χάρισε της Αγίας Σου Εκκλησίας εν ειρήνη, σον εν δημονιά με εκμερεύοντα και θετολούντα των λόγων της εις αληθείας. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, those who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And grant that with one voice and one heart we glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Lord For the mercy. precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. Γεννηθείτο το θέλημά σου ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον και άφηση μην τα αφλήμετα ημών. Ω και μη σα αφήμε τι βελέτε ημών και μη η συνέγγιση μα εσπειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημά από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Here peace be with all. And with your let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power who created all things, and by your great mercy brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place, from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father, and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us, and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand, and through us to all your people. O Theos, y last matolo, que leis homme. Pros homen, ta gia, tis the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken but not divided. He is forever eaten and is never consumed, but he sanctifies those who partake of him. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is the fervor of your saints now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to your mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss to Judas, but as the thief I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Brothers and sisters, forgive me, a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ our Lord, King of God, the precious and most holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus.
με τα φόβου θεοπίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε. Σώσουν ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλοήσουν την κληρονομία σου. Ευλογητώσει Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ο πανσόφους του σαλή. Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών, πάντοτε νυν και αη και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness. That all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ορθή με τα λαβόντε των θείων Αγίων Αχράντων Αθανάτων. Επονανίων ξοπιών φρητών του Χριστού μυστηρίων αξίων, σας ευχαριστήσω με το Κυρίο. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχαρητή. Την ημέραν πάσαν τελείαν αγίαν ειρηνικήν και να μάτι τον ετισάμενοι εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παρά το μεθά. Ότι εσύ ή ο αγιασμός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Εν ειρήνη προέλθομεν του Κύριου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Πάτερ Άγιοι ευλόγησον. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who put our hope in you. Grant peace to your world to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with joy, gladness, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon your people gathered in your name. Be our helper and defender on these days of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves humankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and to protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians 
and preserve those who are healthy that we may continue to serve you in peace and glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Tu Kyrio Veithomen. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May he who sent down the all-holy spirit from heaven in the form of fiery tongues on his holy disciples and apostles, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, of the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praised with the apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, Barbara the great martyr, of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy in us and save us, for he is good and loves humankind. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you until the endless ages. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. As we celebrate this great feast of Pentecost today, how truly joyous it is um, to see the church slowly filling up as we gather, uh, not confined by space or time, to offer up hymns of praise to God, glorifying Him for His wondrous deeds. This great feast celebrates the events in time during which 50 days after the resurrection of Christ, as the disciples were gathered together, a mighty wind came, as we heard in today's uh, epistle reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And tongues of fire descended upon the disciples and suddenly they were able to speak in all different languages. And yet, while they were uttering and speaking in uh, different languages, the message that they were speaking was one and the same. There is a beautiful dichotomy in this uh, wonderful celebration that we all uh, lift up today. In days of old, humanity in an effort to show how great we were, tried to unite to build a tower reaching heaven to show one and all, look at our greatness. This account, of course, comes from the Old Testament, and we refer to it as the Tower of Babel. And the reason that we remember it as the Tower of Babel because God gave the people present the utterance of various tongues. But now they could no longer understand one another and not being able to understand what the other one was saying, they gave up and they walked away and were separated. Now, 
through this great feast, God sends the grace of the Holy Spirit after Christ's ascension to come and to dwell within us and provides us with the ability to understand the message of his love, no matter what language we speak, no matter what language we hear. Suddenly, those coverings over our eyes dissipated, and we were able to understand not only what the apostles were, what Christ himself taught, but what the apostles continued to teach, what we too not simply believe, but teach each other from generation to generation of God's glory and majesty. Hymns that we heard towards the end of uh, Orthros today that will be chanted once again during the great Vespers of Pentecost. End, each one of those verses end with the following beautiful phrases. And all began to speak in other tongues, other doctrines, other teachings of the Holy Spirit. And everything is known by all, one power, one unity, one worship of the Holy Trinity. And again, everyone was coming together, hearing what? Different sounds, a different sight, fire divided into God's gifts. All of these things happening, bringing us closer together to be able to find unity in God's love and to praise and glorify Him. God came on earth to show us the way. He took our form, the form of one of His created. Gave us the example and called us to follow Him. Sacrificed Himself on the cross for us. Reopened the gates of paradise, conquering death so that we could once again live together with him in paradise. And even though he ascended into heaven to be and to sit at the right hand of the Father until his second coming, he did not abandon us. As he sent forth for us the Holy Spirit to dwell within us so that we, through God's grace, can become like God, to have knowledge of Him. This is not something that we come about on our own, but something through God's grace and glory that our hearts, our eyes, our ears are opened to not simply hear the utterances of our fellow human beings, but to hear and understand the words of God to give glory to him until the endless ages. Amen. You heard me uh, mention the great Vespers of Pentecost when on typical uh, Sundays we would begin now at the conclusion of the divine liturgy. But because of the understanding of the difficulty of perhaps wearing uh, masks for uh, such a prolonged period of time. The Vesper service will be celebrated later this evening at 5 o'clock p.m. and will be offered as an online service only for all to be able to pray and to participate.